Uh, joining me now is Sam Dewey, former congressional investigator, and in studio, Roma Duravi, CEO of Duravi Strategies, and former White House Deputy Director of Strategic Communications. That's a lot to say, Roma. Good to see you, and uh, Sam, good to see you as well. So, just uh, off the start, Roma, your reaction. Well, look, the larger story here is the overall attack on conservatives, both from the public and the private sector. What's really interesting about this case is that you have 14 currently serving FBI agents that have come forward to speak to Jim Jordan while we are still in the minority in the House. So I'm really interested to see how this will flip come November when we take back the House and we have an opportunity to really get to the bottom of it. But for now, you have to think about how this is impacting the American people. At the larger scale, you have parents being weaponized by being, sorry, attacked That's by right. this weaponized FBI, going after them for speaking up at school board meetings. And now you have people within the agency saying, yes, this is true, and yes, we are also being targeted. So you look at what's happening to Donald Trump, this same FBI, the same DOJ, going after him at his home at Mar-a-Lago for absolutely no reason. And so good on these people for speaking out, and I hope that we can really get to the bottom of it soon. I, I hope so, too. And, and Sam, to you, I mean, you were a congressional investigator. I served in Congress myself. Um, what, what, what can the Congress do if Republicans take the majority to root out this, what is becoming very clear, the politics of the FBI and the DOJ? Well, I think what they're going to have to do is to take a top-down approach, because this is a problem we really haven't seen before. This isn't a particular leader at an agency. This isn't a problem with a component or with a particular program. This is systemic. The FBI has gone from the idealized notion of the kid of, you know, the G men and women who you can't tell their ideology, they're professional, they do their job, to an institution we're at the top, there is no public trust. I have some liberal friends that agree that the damage being done to the institution is terrible. So you just have to examine the whole thing, and that's going to take a lot of time, a lot of grit, and it's going to be one hell of a fight. And Sam, I, I, I've spent enough time in Washington. I guarantee you the FBI and the DOJ will not cooperate with Jim Jordan and, and Republicans when they do that investigation until they hold money, um, in essence, hostage for compliance. That's the only way. Money is the only way you get them to comply with the demands uh, of oversight of these two uh, bureaus. But, Roma, to you, I mean, you mentioned uh, kind of, you know, what's happened at Mar-a-Lago. You, you, you talked about parents. Uh, who were targeted because they spoke out at a school board meeting. But you also have the whole Russia collusion hoax that the FBI and the DOJ were involved in. You had the taking of Scott Perry's cell phone, a member of Congress, the chair of the Freedom Caucus. You had Peter Navarro put in shackles. I mean, there's example after example of how, of how the FBI is targeting conservatives. And just recently, uh, Mr. Hauk, uh, uh, Hauk, I believe you say his name, from Pennsylvania, he was protesting at a, uh, out in front of an abortion clinic. Uh, a, a pro-abortionist approached him and his 12-year-old son and started saying nasty things to the son. Yeah. Mr. Hulk pushed him. The guy fell down. The liberal DA in, in, in Philadelphia chose not to prosecute, but the FBI came to his house. He said he would turn himself into the FBI if they charged, but the FBI came to his house, knocked on his doors with 20 agents with guns pointed at his head. This has become insane. It really has. And you think about the families, right, that are going through things like this, because it's not just this one instance. This is the one that we know about. And this right. is the Democrats' favorite. Why? Because it's abortion. That's their running move this November. That's their favorite topic. That's how they think they're going to keep their House and their Senate. But it's not the reality of the situation. And I think what we need to focus on here are these very targeted situations that are occurring strictly on Republicans, strictly on conservatives, and why? And it's a really, it's concerning. Americans all over the country have their eyes wide open right now. They see this for what it is. They've seen it for the last six years since President Donald Trump, then candidate Trump, came down the golden escalator right here at Trump Tower in New York City. And so I, I think six years of this is it impossible to ignore at this point? Yeah, and Sam, to, to that point, I mean, this can't be just a few one-off agents who are going rogue, attacking conservatives. This has to go to the top at the FBI, Chris Ray, and at the DOJ. Uh, it has to be Merrick Garland who are saying, yes, you know what, this is going to be the strategy of the DOJ and the FBI to target conservatives as political enemy number one. 
Oh, absolutely. There's no other way to read this. And if you know how the department works, this just doesn't happen without the top. And I think it's unfortunate because most FBI agents are still, you know, salt of the earth, American patriots doing a good job. This is the leadership just completely perverting uh, the Justice Department. They're doing it openly now because the mainstream media covers for them and they think they can get away with it. And anytime you try to hold them accountable, there's resistance. And I think you're right, Sean, that traditional oversight tools aren't going to work here. You're going to have to look at targeted restrictions on appropriations and some other things we That's haven't right. seen in a while because they have a playbook. It works for them and they're going to stick to it. They're, they're, they're going to try to stick to it. Um, and I hope Republicans are smart enough to push back and fight back with every tool that they have. And if, and if they do use every tool, they're going to be successful and it's going to be exposed. Uh, and I think Kevin McCarthy, if he's a speaker, is going to lead that charge, no doubt. But Sam and Roma, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it.